signed, I signed up for this quite a while back. I think I might have been, was I the first one that signed up? And I had no idea what I was going to talk about. And then uh, I, I sat in the office with John and he said, why don't you talk about failing? You're really good at that. And I thought, <laughs> and I, I hope he didn't mean it in this way. But uh, anyway, uh, so um, the fun in failure. I've, um, I've been kind of working on this to try and develop resilience in my uh, pupils that I teach um, you know, quite a lot over the last few years, and I talked a couple of years ago about sort of things I've tried, like couldn't learn various styles, and I was trying to um, kind of find a way to sort of explain how I do it in my lessons. And um, just before Christmas, I was lucky enough to go to the SSAT conference, and um, Eric Mazur was speaking there, um, Harvard professor, and I'll tweet the, the, the um, talk out to everybody um, in a bit, but it's, um, it basically kind of summarised, so I'm kind of stealing a little bit from his talk. But he's, basically, he was talking about, and in the way, the way that I kind of, as DT teacher, the way I was taught to develop, you know, deliver projects and things, is that you gave pupils a problem, you went through loads of processes with them, and the design process, and coming up with solutions and things, and actually, what you really wanted them to do was create that solution. That was the big thing. And if you kind of, like, look at that, maybe with... Um, uh, other subjects as well, you kind of, you know, you, you, there's, there's a problem, you talk them through, the, teach them the process, and the lesson is teaching them the process of how to do something. And then what you're kind of assessing them on is that solution at the end. And uh, the, the problems I was finding with that, with, with, with my teaching, is that when you came to, I hate balloons taxonomy, I wasn't going to put it in here, but, but it's here anyway. Um, that actually, when you came to, like, if you're working on that solution all the time, you're always looking at, you know, looking at these skills here, but you don't actually get that high on Bloom's taxonomy because they're either remembering something, a process you've taught them, they're remembering that and then they're applying it, doing it. So you don't, you know, maybe they're understanding it, you can prove they're understanding it. They're applying it a little bit, but it doesn't often go that much further than it. So I started switching things around a bit. And the way that I kind of teach a lot now is that I give pupils a problem right at the start. And one I did with my uh, 10 uh, engineers at um, not long ago for a project they were doing, as I said, the problem is you've, um, the, um, you've got a, a sort of a bomb disposal robot that you've got to design, and um, it's got to be able to move around and avoid objects in its path so it doesn't get blown up. So the solution is, you know, you, you've got to design this robot, this robot needs to be made, that's what it's going to look like, uh, you know, this is what it's got to do, and you're going to be, and uh, the rest of it, how are you going to do it? Well, that's for you to work out. And... Um, they sit back and they get a bit like lost with what they're going to do um, because I hadn't taught them everything they needed to know. I hadn't gone through, you need to you know, make circuits to do this and you need to fix you know, wheels onto it and you've got to design all these bits. I didn't go through and teach them all that stuff. What I started with, and I was like, just trying to think the other night how I approached it, but what I did, I started with, like, right, what have we got to work with at the moment? So I get them to think about what they've got at the moment, what do they know, what can they, what can they piece together? Um, what other stuff do they extra stuff do they need to know for it? So get them to sort of work that and mind map all that out. Um, and then, um, is it stuff they can go and find out themselves? Because if it is, they don't need me. So they, you know, they can, they're going to find out about some materials or something. I don't need to teach them that. So they can go onto Google. It's there. They can find it. Um, and then are there things that you know do need a bit of guidance from my teacher? In which case they can come to me, and then. I can do specific lessons, whether I'm teaching them a specific process or something they need to know the workshop or a particular design technique. And then I get them to try it out. And they try it out. And more often than not, something goes wrong. So then we have a bit of discussion. They have a bit of discussion. What went wrong? What have I learned from it? What have I got to change with my approach to it? And then they go back again. And we keep working through, through that, that process. Um, and I was... I mean, I kind of think it was working, but uh, the other day I, we had a year nine options evening and there was one of my year 10 pupils who talked to some parents and I kind of overheard them and said, well, you know, what is it you like about engineering at the moment? And she said, well, we never really get, we never really get told what to do. She said, we just go into the lesson and what we, we are supposed to investigate and find things out. And, um, and it, you know, I just, I just think it really works. And the learning that's, that's going on is not, you know, it's, you know you're right we'll go back to this, you're right, you know, they're right up there with the evaluating what's going on, and they're right up there with the creating, and it's much like real life, because we don't, in real life, we don't, you know, um, you know, I had a problem, I got up this morning, and, you know, I was thinking, what am I going to talk about tonight at the teaching meet, and it was, it was uh, you know, was, that was my problem, the solution was, I've got to be up here talking, so, you know, the, 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 the thing that I've got to work out then is that process of how I'm going to do it, 
And that's life. You know, we often know the solutions. We know where we need to be and what we need to do. Just not how to get there. So that's why I, that's what I do. Thank you.